students welcome once again um in this section we are looking at um uh, a vector norm so we are given x1 being equal to 0 negative 10 11 and negative 14 s2 being equal to um, negative 3 negative 6 negative 12 and 18 and um, the first question says we should find the norm of x1 so norm 2 so we take x1 and um, we are finding norm 2 so what we we'll do is to take um, all these values so we have um, 0 0 squared right remember the absolute then we can have um, 10 squared absolute then 11 squared absolute then absolute of negative 14 squared then to the power 1 over 2 right so over here we are just going to get um, 0 plus the 10 squared is just um, 100 then we have um, 11 squared which is 1 to 1 and also 14 squared which is just 196 right so um, in doing so remember is to the power um, half then summing all of this you are just going to get um, 417 so we then bring the square roots so that will be the value for the first one now that is for a now let's look at b now in b we have um, this right here so we have um, over here we are looking at um, the vector norm of infinity so we have um, we are looking at the maximum right the maximum remember we are looking at x1 x1 here so the maximum of um, just um, so zero here absolute of 10 which is just uh, positive which will be positive then um, the absolute of 11 then that of um, 14 which is also be positive so maximum will just be zero so we have 0 10 11 and also 14 and the maximum here is just 14 yeah so let's look at the rest so we have um, C here right in C here we have um, the S2 so one norm of the S2 now S2 is given by this so the one norm is just looking at um, we are just looking at the maximum right the maximum of um, the negative 3 here then we have um, maximum negative 6 um, negative 12 and then um, 18 here and therefore the maximum here will just be 3 6 12 and 18 and the maximum here will just give us 18 right all right so let's look at so the one we did here was for infinity so let's take that one as d right and let's look at c again so c here that will just give us um we are taking the um two so negative three here then plus uh, negative six here then negative 12 here then plus 18 here right to the power one and this is just going to give us um, 3 plus 6 here, plus 12, plus 18, which is just equal to 39, right? That is for um, um, S2 on 1 norm. So, um, for the last part, we have um, E being equal to um, this, S1, norm 1. Then, we have S2 here. And we have it no one yeah so we have to calculate for each one of them so when we take the first one here we have x1 and num one so we are just going to get um, zero here then 10 remember is 10 then 11 plus just 14 here right and for the s2 num one then we have um, absolute of 3, absolute of 6, 
absolute of um, the 12 and also absolute of 18 right so um, you are just going to have 0 plus 10 right plus um, 11 so 0 plus 10 plus 11 plus 14 then for this side we are just going to get 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 18 and this is just going to give us 35 here plus 39 here and we had 74 as a total yeah so thank you very much for joining me in this section i hope this section was helpful i'll see you in another section